This is the continuation of the PCB Arts video tutorial series on board design. This tutorial continues at Chapter 4, the PCB Design Editor. A PDF of this tutorial may be found on the 4PCB.com website. Go to Engineering and Technical, mouse over PCB Artist Layout Software, and select PCB Artist Tips and Tools. Select the link PCB Artist Layout Software Step-by-Step -Step Tutorial. This same document is also found at Help Tutorials in the PCB Artist software. As a reminder, a red target animation at the cursor indicates a left click, and a blue animated target indicates a right click. Once the PCB has been output from the schematic through the PCB wizard, components will be found outside the outline with yellow lines between them. These yellow lines represent the netlist connections that are to be routed. The board outline appears as a bright green line by default. If the outline is not in the correct shape, one may deform it or delete it with the delete key and redraw the outline by using the add board shape function. Details on how to modify outlines is found in the PCB Artist's Frequently Asked Questions document on the 4PCB.com website. One may access the settings found in the previous tutorial at Settings PCB Configuration. This is where the specifics for your board order will be controlled within the software. Placing components can be done automatically by going to Tools, Auto Place Components. Otherwise, one may place components by clicking and dragging them into the outline area. To rotate the component, one may right click on it and select Rotate, or use the R hotkey found on the keyboard. To place a component on the opposing side of the board, one may right-click on a component and choose Flip. The hotkey for this is the F key on the keyboard. Once the components are placed in their desired locations, the next step is to route the connections. There are several options available for routing. One may use the Add Track option, which also appears as an icon on the PCB Design menu. Double-clicking on a pad will also start the track placement process. Options are available on how corners of tracks are handled. One may right-click while placing a track and select Segment Mode. By default, the corners of tracks appear at right angles only. One may change this by checking the Miter option. Changing layers while placing a track will create a via to connect the layers. This can be done using the L hotkey. The color of the object will change because of its layer placement. To unroute nets, one may go to Tools, Unroute Nets. One will have the option to unroute all nets or just browse for a specific net. For the auto router, go to Tools, Auto Route Nets. Under this option, one may route the entire board automatically, route any specific routes that are selected, or route by net. For this example, we will route all nets. We will use the default settings. PCB Artist users should explore these settings to help get the desired effect when routing. Click Route when done. Copper pores may be added by using the Add Copper Pore option. Select the shape and draw the pore outline across an area of the board. The copper pore uses nets to adapt and adjust to the board layout. It will not connect to any feature that is not on the same net. Once a pore outline is in place, select the pore outline and right-click. In the list that appears, select Pore Copper. In the Copper Pore dialog, there are options for thermals, minimum size of pore, among other options. A net must be selected before pouring or accessing any options. Once done, select OK, and a pore will be created. Be sure to pour again if there are any changes to the area save the design using the save icon, or by going to File Save. This concludes this section of the tutorial. The second part of Chapter 4 is in the next video tutorial.